Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to look at a brand new lip product from Glossier. This is the Glossier G Suit Soft Touch Lip Cream. We are going to try it on, talk about it, talk a little bit about Glossier. Glossier is doing actually pretty well now, especially since they have moved to Sephora. That seems to have really invigorated the brand. Glossier, as you know, started its life as a direct-to-consumer uh, online brand, taken from the Into the Gloss blog, if you ever did read that. And we've talked about this in other videos before, so I won't go into it again. But you know, you could get it through the website, and then they had some free standing brick and mortar stores. But now they are, at least in North America, in Sephora, and it's really helped. I think the thing with Glossier is they grew, and their clientele base grew, and they needed to be back in stores more accessible, and I think it's really helped the brand. All right, so let's look at this today. This little G Suit Soft touch lip cream comes in eight different shades. They are $22 each, which for high-end makeup is a nice price. They are $22 each, eight shades. I picked up two of the eight just to give them a try. This is the shade Curve, which I'm actually wearing now, but I will show you swatches. I also picked up the shade Drive. So I have Curve and Drive, and there are six other shades. These are matte lip creams. They are full coverage and hydrating, and they're really buttery smooth and promise to cover in just one swipe. They have, before we do the uh, swatches, I will just show you here, they have a doe foot applicator that has a nice shape to it. It's easy to use and a nice little tip so that you can also kind of line the lips with it. This does not promise to be, it's a lip cream and it's matte, but it doesn't promise to be transfer proof. It doesn't even promise to be long lasting, but the coverage is nice and full. So it actually is quite long lasting. I've been wearing these off and on for a few days now and um, they're very comfortable and they do seem to last a long time. But again, they're not meant to be some sort of a 12 hour stain or anything like that. It can get a bit confusing now because we're seeing all sorts of different products released. Um, we have Huda has one around the corner and we have Mario and Merit and Rare Beauty that stain the lips. So it can get a bit confusing. Um, do not be confused. This is a lip souffle, a nice gentle cream akin to a cream that actually Mario has released and even Pat McGrath has released that are just really comfy, creamy lip colors. Let's do a little bit of some swatching in two different lights so you can see just the two shades that I picked up, which I think should be pretty popular ones. This is the shade Curve. I'm going to show you it there. Isn't that pretty? We'll take it outside in a moment. And the shade Drive, which is a lot darker, and I wondered what that would look like. Let me just spread that out for you a little bit so you can see it better. And they are very, very intense. Well, there it is in studio lighting. Let's take it outside into the warm California sunshine. There on my arm, once again, our Curve on the left, and then Drive. And I have brought my mirror back up here so I can just show you, though I'm wearing Curve, let me just show you how you would put it on and how it works. Um, you're gonna smooth it over in one fell swipe. <laughs> and you see the coverage that gave? You can tell I've reapplied it. This has actually been on for an hour or two up top. And let me just show you how you would use the top of the wand to define and then fill. Now I will tell you that when I did the first few swipes and smiled, uh, when I originally put it on a few hours ago, when I smiled, there were some breaks, but I was able to use the tip again to just kind of fill those in, and they went away very, very quickly. So it's one swipe within reason. You'll notice sometimes if the dark with the darker shades, and because it's full coverage, when you smile, there might be some little gaps, and then you can fill those in. All right, what I'm gonna do now is remove this so that we can go ahead and put on the other shade, Drive, that much darker, almost burgundy brown shade, together, and we'll even try some gloss over the top, so stay right there. Okay, I have a very sloppy application of the second shade, Drive, on purpose, because I want to fix it with you guys on camera. This is just what it looks like with one swoop done very messily, and I'll show you what we're going to do to fix it. Um, let me just say one thing that I didn't say when I was wearing the other shade. Um, after you remove this, or at the end of the day, it really does leave your lips feeling quite moisturized, which is a very, very nice um, feeling for a matte lip. You're not gonna ever, it still retains its creaminess and it doesn't feel 
like sometimes stains make us feel, as you know. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something here. This is one swatch, right, just across the lip swipe, I should say. Watch what happens when I smile. I hope I can zoom in well enough. All sorts of gaps. And that's a very wide grin, but we still don't want that to happen. So, see all that feathering? So we're gonna take this in this dark, dark shade, which I actually quite like, and I'm gonna not make sure there's not a lot of product on the top. And then, oh, I'm gonna mess up. Okay, and then. Now you can use a lip brush if you want, or as I famously do, I use an eyeshadow pencil brush because I think it's stiffer. Okay, so I'm gonna get that pencil brush. There okay, I'm a broken record about this technique. I don't like lip brushes because they're long and flimsy. I like to use a, a densely packed eyeshadow pencil brush. Yes, it does wash out of there, no problem. And so now I kind of fixed the feathering, but I've got messy, messy looking lipstick. And that can be a little bit fun and punk rock, but like not the look I have going today, right? Okay, so we smile and fix. I'm going to blend my lips together for it to be nice and creamy, and I could apply another layer if I wanted to, but I feel that the use of the eyeshadow pencil brush is essential. It's firm, it holds its shape, and it does kind of brush out any spots that get a bit darker with these creams. That can happen with any of these cream lip uh, applications, and makes the color uh, look a little bit more at home and evens it out a little bit. So I do recommend that you do that. And I know mine is still a little bit messy, but you get the idea. If I were precise and I weren't having performance anxiety on camera, I could get it a little bit nicer. Now, how about the application of a gloss over the top? I brought over here the uh, Huda Beauty gloss. I like, I like her glosses, actually. This one is the fire one. It's supposed to sting just a little bit, but it actually doesn't bother me and I'm easily bothered. So let's try that over the top. Granted, that defeats the purpose of a matte lip cream, but sometimes it gives it a little more life and makes it a little bit more uh, viable of a choice for every single day. If you want a certain look that you want a gloss with, it takes gloss over the top very well and did not even get all over the doe foot of the clear gloss. Uh, this has a little bit of a pink shade to it, but any old gloss will work. You can use one with color, you can use one with clear. Sometimes it just makes it feel nicer on the lips and gives it, it elevates the look a little bit, changes it, grant it, but also elevates it, makes this a really wearable, almost lip cream slash gloss. So there's a lot you can do with these. I do find they wear very well and are extremely comfortable, but please do not expect super long wearing and do not expect that they won't transfer but that is not what they promise and not what they say. But for $22 each with eight shade choices, I think a very, very nice lip cream choice. And especially when you know you can also put a gloss over it and easy to work with. The darker colors are a tad bit fussy, but you saw what I did there. I don't expect most dark colors to not be fussy. It's in their nature, right? That's just how it is. All right, let me know if you tried this and how you've been thinking about Glossier. A lot of folks have been telling me in comments that since Glossier has gone to Sephora here in North America, they have tried a lot more of their products and really been happy with them. So let me know what your thoughts are. It's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello over on TikTok and Instagram too. And please remember that you can become a bigger part of this channel by becoming a member for behind the scenes footage and special members only lives. And also you can give super thanks as so many Many of you have done, but no matter what way that you are here, I'm just happy to see you and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.